Hi, I'm Adrian Bankert here on Morning in America. We've partnered with Patch, a trusted hyperlocal news site serving more than 1,200 communities nationwide. Now, each week, we're bringing you the top feel good stories across the nation. Uh, when life gives you a brick wall, make art, according to this uh, woman here. That's what clothing store owner Sharon Florio did when she wanted to give her community in New Jersey a way to voice their support for Ukraine. She placed a sign and some chalk outside her storefront, and the community quickly stepped in to share positive messages like, I stand with Ukraine. Very nice. And another art form, how to tie a necktie. Is that really an art form, guys? I don't know. I think that's a skill. It's a life skill. All right. When Deputy Dan Mickey in California made a traffic stop, he learned the driver was on the way to a job interview, but he wasn't quite uh, interview ready. He didn't know how to properly tie his ties. So uh, Mickey jumped in and did the roadside tie demonstration to help him get on his way and to that interview. Hope he got the job. So this inspiring story next, uh, this one tops it all. Uh, John, we're going to introduce you to John out of Connecticut. His name is John Rubino, a double organ donor. He just got out of the hospital after donating a portion of his liver to an eight-month-old baby girl. You can see the picture uh. there. Yes, there are only 116 double donors in the U.S. 116 people have done what John has done. And only 41 other people besides John have donated more than one organ to two different people over the past 25 years. John, are you here with us? I am. Okay, I got to get all the way past all this introductory stuff to get to you before we run out of time. Why in the world did you feel compel uh, compelled or brave enough to donate twice? Well, my first donation came in 2019 when a friend of mine put something up on social media asking for help for someone that was in kidney failure. It was during that process that I realized that um, I'm pretty healthy and uh, the opportunity presented itself to not only donate that kidney to that young girl, but um, I felt I could do more. So uh, I donated to Jessica Rabasco in 2019. And after recovering from that surgery, I decided I wanted to go down the path of donating a portion of my liver. Okay, so get me corrected if I'm not right. You donated yes. your kidney the first time, and then you donated yes. a portion of your liver the second time. That is correct. So I just donated a portion of my liver uh, two weeks ago oh uh, in New York. It was a non-directed donation. So basically, I went to the hospital and said, I'm here, I'm healthy. Let's help somebody who needs it. So they came up with uh, finding the um, recipient in need, which is a eight month old baby girl. And the rest is history. Is it true that you fell in love with somebody that you donated to or there was somebody connected to this donation process? I did. Um, <laughs> I've been pretty blessed throughout this process, um, made a lot of great connections. The girl I donated my kidney to were very close now as far as family. And the picture up on the screen is Robin Blasio, who posted about Jessica in need of a kidney. During that process, we became very bonded ourselves, and we are now a couple. So <laughs> Yay! All all, we love your story, John. Oh, my God. You're like all winner, all winner. Those are our feel-good stories from Patch. Keep watching Morning in America live starting at 7 a.m. Eastern, 6 Central weekdays only on News Nation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.